That is the uh, LH Tirana slowly getting there. Just been uh, cutting out rust and welding in new places and bits and pieces. Uh, kind of doesn't really look like much at the moment. <coughs> we got the door. Working on the doors, got a few left. Here's my donor panel that we've been, uh, it was pretty straight, but it was off a, I think it was a UC. <coughs> Had different tail lights. So I've been cutting bits and pieces out of it and using it for rust panels. So as you can see, there's not not a great deal left of it. Uh, she's pretty stripped now. What else? <coughs> we are uh, probably seen them anyway, but we replaced the rear quarters on both sides. Did a bit of welding in the boot uh, to. Replace all inside here, weld, weld up a uh, few holes. Still got to cut this one out and replace this section like what we did over here. I'll show that in a sec. <coughs> uh, obviously, it's going to need a bit of a little bit of fill, just a skim coat over the whole car. It's going to that'll all be neatened up. <coughs> uh, yeah, so this one here was pretty badly rusted away. I had usual holes in here, up here. This whole back piece here was gone, so I replaced that. The whole top one was gone. I replaced all that. Um, yeah, and when we cut, cut in the, the rear quarter, that's the rare spares one. You know, the other one was off the UC. <coughs> we replaced this section here, which we still got to neaten up, but we've re-drilled the holes for the bumper to sit in, so that works. Uh, just like I said, got to clean up around here and that'll be skim coated. Sort of just been playing, it's like midnight, but I've been underneath the car trying to remove the, the shockies. They're all pretty old and busted. So we'll get in there and do some of, some of the work under there. A bit of grinding under there to do, if you hadn't seen it. but <clears throat> um, Usual spots. Got to replace this whole section. Um, all along here is pretty much all rusted out. Big holes in it. Doesn't look too bad up on there. I've already done the, the back um, window. That was a rare spares piece that we welded in and got all nice and neat. <coughs> Started painting up me uh, bits and pieces. There's me. Um, rocker covers for my 253, spare bumper up there, one of the guards that actually came with it, we're probably going to use that as a test panel just to paint uh, different shades of candy, um, just got a bit carried away with red paint, but there's a starter motor, um, wiper motor, still a paint the horn, alternator bracket, under pressure on the, uh, the brake <coughs> master uh, brake canister um, a couple more doors that we've finished off uh, been, they went to the sandblasters and got sandblasted and all well, around the edges they don't do the actual panels itself in case they warp them so but they're all done pretty neat <coughs> uh, he's got my scoop at the moment, he's going to look into priming it and um, airbrushing the picture on it. There's the spoiler, back spoiler, <coughs> front spoiler, bits and pieces. And yeah, there's my shed. Not much, but it's been pretty, pretty trashed. All my tools, plumbing tools, and all sorts of shit. Under there's my um, <coughs> seats. Brand new, brand new seats in there, and all my glass. Oh, you can't really see it. Yeah, it's all been reupholstered black. <coughs> like the uh, door skins up there, they've been reupholstered, which I've got to get under cover soon. Um, what else? Yeah, what else we got? <coughs> Um, yes, yeah, so when we when we paint this car, we're gonna be getting in here, and this panel here, and on that side there, we're gonna airbrush. Just some nice pictures. Um, 
took a bit of a beat in this car, so we had to straighten out some of these panels and stuff in here. I'm probably going to sheet in this section across here, just with a nice, um, nice bit of aluminium and paint it the same colour and airbrush in that. Just I don't like having this open in case you've got stuff in here and it rattles out and dents in your quarters. So that'll be airbrushed. Um, probably in the boot as well, and up under the boot here, will be probably a nice few pictures. I'm not going to go stupid with, like I'm not young anymore, so I don't need a stereo, uh, subwoofers and all that sort of stuff. It'll just be nice and neat, carpeted, airbrush pictures, spare tyre, just keep it original. Um, <clears throat> and inside's pretty gutted, it's not much in here, but... I fixed the um, plenum in there, which was fairly rusted before, but it's all been cut out and welded back up again and fish oiled. Uh, another hot tip for anyone that else is doing it is you got these holes up here, which you can um, run your fish oil spray oil, as much fish oil as you can down any of these uh, channels where you can't get to. So mainly your door pillars. Uh, and your window channel up here and down in through that hole there which your visor goes in and then just runs into the body even though it'll come out the little uh, plug hole down here but it at least coats the inside of your window channels um, another one I normally spray with the fish oils get them in all in here try fill up these little uh, plug holes as much as you can with as much fish oil as you can. Uh, another good one is up in your windows, above your window ledge. You got a bit of room there and spray it in so it runs down to your back window ledge because that's where it always uh, tends to rust out. Uh, hopefully you can hear me with the sound of the radio going. Um, I'm going to piss off the, the mags. They're just 13s. Uh, it's got disc front brakes but drum rear brakes so we're going to um, get some disc brakes for the back. Go 14 inch. Um, the front guards have already been rolled. Uh, so them ones are alright, <clears throat> and I've got upgraded brakes there as well, but these back, that quarter, needs to be uh, rolled in a bit, just to get some, bit, some better clearance, but we're probably either going to roll that in, or um, I've seen on a couple of other the, um, people I subscribe to with a uh, YouTube channel, uh, they take a section out here, and um, cut it out because once the flare goes on, you you can't see it anyway. Yeah, with um, painting when it comes to painting, we actually got these um, door the door sills that are here. Usually people have them chromed. I'm gonna get them painted. Um, I don't know yet because this is probably gonna be black, and then this will probably be the candy apple um, door scuffs. But we're gonna have airbrushed pictures like little skulls or something cool uh, in all four doors we're not going to do any more airbrushing inside because I've got all brand new interior carpet like I said the seats all new door skins new roof new carpets um, and the dash will be all original uh, back parcel shelves all brand new so we'll stick with uh, just keeping little subtle subtle things um, airbrushed like the scuffs uh, in the engine bay <clears throat> we'll probably do some airbrushing in amongst uh, the wheel arches um, on the can't see it because the doors there but where the, um, the heater unit is you've got that black box with the heater pump or the air, no heater pretty sure it's a heater it's got the fan the fan motor um, that box there will probably have a nice little airbrush on it um, your brake booster will be painted black um, but all this is going to be all candy all the top top half and when you've got these guards that come bolt down here and come down here anything from this ledge down is all going to be uh, tuxedo black so all my k-frame uh, steering rack um, everything all down there will be all all black same as the bonnet and 
the blackouts, but um, yeah, the top half's all gonna be candy. Um, the brakes, I've got that, um, <clears throat> I always forget the name of the bloody valve. It's a brake valve. So you've got the brake uh, booster, you've got your cylinder um, reservoir. I'm gonna actually plumb the uh, brake lines down in through here, which I've seen on um, another few people's uh, YouTube accounts. I can probably leave a link in the description somewhere, but um, the proportioning valve, that's what it is. It's gonna be bolted under here, probably, um, just out of sight. So it looks a lot neater, but then I'll have the, uh, I've seen on the videos before, the a sort of come down like this down here and then run down into the proportion and valve and then back over to your brake lines. Um, got the proportion and valve up here. <coughs> That's the proportion and valve there. You don't know what one is. So, ugly looking thing, especially when under the bonnet. I just want it to be nice and clean, so all the wiring, um, everything should be just all kept nice and neat, tidy and hidden. Uh, still have obviously the, um, the weather, the wiper wiper bottle will still be here like usual and the brake boost and all that and battery but I'm going to try and hide as much of the wiring and tuck it in and just keep it nice and neat and tidy under there. And that's probably about it. I'm going to um, yeah, change out, like I said, the tyres and uh, I've got brand new brakes. Um, the PBR brakes at the back in the, one of my buckets over there. Uh, still got to chase a few bits. Still need a front window, which I can get for um, brand new, 170 bucks from um, one of the local windscreen joints, Wayne's Windscreens. Need a front bumper. Um, the list is endless, actually. I've got heaps of stuff I've got to buy for it. All new bushes and... Uh, shocks, springs, seat belts, ah, what else? Uh, all the new rubbers, all the new door seals, rubbers. Um, I still got to buy a boot carpet because I've got, I haven't got a boot carpet. Um, it's pretty much it. It's a pretty boring video that I've done, but just sort of wanted to show you some progress that we're doing. Got the panel beater coming on uh, Monday. Tonight's uh, Friday night. Yep. Well, probably Saturday morning because it's midnight. Uh, but yeah, I'm slowly getting there. And hopefully, um, the start of the year, we're going to be able to take roll this straight into uh, Pinjarra Sandblasting. Give them a plug. Um, they did all my doors and they're really good guys. And um, they will sandblast the whole car. Uh, except for the roof um, and undercoat the underbody is uh, called a called DTM, which is um, direct to metal spray. It's basically uh, sprayed on there. You will never get any rust, so that'll all be sprayed underneath, all black uh, DTM. Yeah, it fills up like two. It's like if you got any little pinholes and uh, where's a pinhole? Filled most of them in. <clears throat> any little pinholes in the metal underneath the body obviously there's going to be a couple that we can't get to but it just basically fills them so you don't have to worry too much about going through and plugging every single little pinhole that is there there's one there's a couple a couple here that one needs to be welded i still got to fix these but like just for example this little pinhole here spray underneath with the DTM and all this will be sprayed with DTM as well um, all those little holes will be filled in but most of them I'll be plugging up and welding in um, yeah so that'll be all sprayed and then we can start on the candy apple red and the, the, the black bonnet and all the blackouts and so yeah stay tuned and uh, I'll see you later